ತೌ ಸಂತೋಷಯತ ಸಂತೌ ಶ್ರೀಲ ರೂಪ ಸನಾತನೌ ದಾಕ್ಷಿಣಾತ್ಯನ ಭಟ್ಟೇನ ಪುನರೇತದ್ವಿವಿಚ್ಯತೆ ತಸ್ಯಾದ್ಯ ಗ್ರಂಥನಾಲೇಖಂ ಕ್ರಾಂತವ್ಯುತ್ಕ್ರಾಂತ ಖಂಡಿತ ಪರ್ಯಾಲೋಚ್ಯಾತ ಪರ್ಯಾಯ ಕೃತ್ವಾಲಿಕತಿ ಜೀವಕ ಓಕೆ ಎಲ್ಮಿ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ಸೊ ಯಮರಾಜ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹಿಸ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ಸ್ why amaras topic is coming in between tell me <coughs> online on site yes bhagwan prabhu bhagwan pandit prabhu amaras topic why it came yes prabhu last time we discuss uh, able to hear yes prabhu please please go ahead so we discuss about kirtan and smaran you say na that uh, these two processes are uh, three the kirtan by the tongue and uh, smaran by the mind and then uh, bowing down sir this three is the is just to process one should follow if you are not doing this then other nine processes may not be doing here see and no. uh, another point kirtan is uh, sorry tongue here tongue is the nominative means it is a karta although it should be in uh, pronoun or uh, why it is karta ki even the person don't want to mm. uh, chant like to chant still if one chants still you get the benefit that for that purpose it is saying so this i remember and uh, bro yeah what is the main topic is going on anyone can just mention this can say from the last class what was the topic no 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 don't need, no need of garmpani we need light bhakti is highest dharma no so in that this is what so mata ji yes prabhu yes mata ji tell me yes prabhu ji bhakti is the highest dharma that was the main point and while saying that we discussed how when uh, so yamaraj is telling his uh, followers one who has not or those whose tongues have not chanted the names of the lord or whose minds have not remembered the lord uh, or whose yeah 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 uh, bhakti is the highest dharma we dis- we established uh, parama dharmatva paradharmatva we established already or not very long back but now what we are doing specifically we are doing some special thing actually we, what is that special thing we are seeing about the bhakti if you see uh, my, my file you can understand uh, yeah, someone prabhu ji if you, I, yeah someone if he is doing bhakti then even if he is committing sinful activities or uh, you know the sins are all destroyed so the sins will not uh, uh, how do you say it mm-hmm. you know he will not go to hell if he is doing bhakti but if without doing bhakti someone is doing all other types of dharma then um, still he will you know uh, he will how the, how the anucheda is starting actually what is the main core statement that we should any time actually sandarbha means you should understand uh what is the sutra sthane vakyam that means oh, on what the statement he is making and uh, after that he is going to prove that by based upon the bhagavat sentence so what statement what pratigna he did so can anyone guess this 
Yeah, Bhagwan Pandit Prabhu, yes, Prabhu, please. So, Niratha, unless useless activity is offered <laughs> without any motive, it, it is offered, that is also considered some bhakti. Useless <laughs> activity, <laughs> that is running here. That is over. For that, he gave the example, yo yo mai pare dharmaha. This. Yeah, yeah. That I want to see. Yeah, that is done. Next. That is not the. Uh, that statement is not being proved in the entire Anushchada. That is not the main Sutra Stani vacuum. So after that, you see. Next, actually. If you see next, then you'll understand. 27, 28, 29, these three verses. No, no, no. That, no, no, no. You see. Not a... Uh, after that, it is in that way, it is stated that Bhakti's quality of destroying sins and so on arising even by hearing. This is the main statement actually. Bhakti arising. So, uh, Bhakti is done in what way? Just by the hearing. Shravanadina api pasyaha papagnatvam. Papagnatvadikam. That means you are doing what kind of bhakti? Hearing. This kind of bhakti you are doing. Hearing. Just hearing. And that much is enough to destroy the sins. That is the main thing we are. That In that way you are going to glorify bhakti. It's not that they to destroy the sins. There is no need to have a, such a elaborated and lengthy or something a very big or very great activity is not needed. Just hearing. This much is enough. Hearing, that means that is the activity. Bhakti activity. If it is done, that means Shavanadina api bhavati tasyaha papagnatvadikam tasyaha shravanadina api bhavati ityuktam. So, it is in this way, it is stated that bhakti is quality of destroying sins. Papagnatva means quality of destroying sins and so on. So, arises. This quality arises even by hearing. Even by hearing. That's why people may wonder. One time hearing holy name, it is destroying all the sins. That means bhakti is getting the quality of destroying all the sins. Bhakti is having the quality of destroying all the sins. And that quality is, 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 is arising, is, is coming by just hearing. So, <clears throat> that point is being established here actually. For that, we took the reference. So, sloka from Maga Mahatmyam, Devahuti, sorry, Devaduta Vakyam. Prahasman Yamuna Brata, Sadaram hi Punaha Punaha, Bhavadbir Vaishnavaihi, Vaishnavaha, Styajo, Vishtunche Bhajate Naraha. This is the statement actually of so, Devadutas, that means servants of the Yamaras. So they Asman Yamuna Brata. Yamuna Brata means so, Yamaraj. Your brother of Yamuna. That is the son of the Suri Dev. So Suri Dev's son is Yamaraj. Daughter is Yamuna. And that's why they are brother and sister. And what he said? Again and again he said. Vaishnavaha Tayadhyajaha. Vishnu said. Bajate Naraha, if they worship Vishnu. Vaishnava Yadguruhe Bhunte Yesham Vaishnava Sangati Tepi Vahapariharya Sihu Tatha Sangam Hatha Kalbishaha. This anyway, we discussed already all this. We we coming through that. That means what we what is there in our heart now? Now Shravanadi Rupa Bhakti is also going to destroy all the sins. That is the, our main interest actually. That we want to establish. Shravanadi, that means just chanting one time or hearing one time or just paying obeisances one time. This kind of activities that is going to destroy millions of lifetimes you so uh, incurred or the, you gathered the sin and that will be destroyed by just this one activity. It is really glory of the bhakti or not? Such a bhakti. 
bhakti has such a potency others they cannot understand so karmis they know only the they know only the doing the big big elaborated yagyas to get the little phala so after doing this such a heavy yagya so ejayat sarga kamaha so then they will be getting the sarga the pleasure sarga pleasure so people that say they may not believe actually this much simple activity can do that is the thing actually yes it can do that is the glory of the bhakti so for that who is a proof this yamara statement in the bhagavatam that is the sense actually we should jihvana vakti bhagavat guna nama dheyam chetascha na smarati cha charana aravindam krishnaya na namati yacharas ekadapi tan anayadvam asato kruta vishnu krutyan so this is the shloka we were analyzing we analyze many points here from this jihvana vakti that means here instrument jihva is instrument to chant jihva is instrument or the karta uh, actually in general case generally it is instrument and karta is the person so he is having desire to chant then he will be using the tongue but if we if someone is saying tongue is chanting if someone makes tongue as a in, instrument as a sub, as a subject or as a doer that means what that signifies what that indicates what that indicates that indicates the unwillingness of the person if you say tongue is chanting that means he is not chanting tongue is chanting if you say that means uh, unwillingness no 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 i'm not going unwillingness that means his will is not there if his will is there then you will say he is chanting but if you simply say tongue is chanting जैसे मैं हाथ पैर चला रहा हूँ जी रहा हूँ हाथ पैर चला रहा हूँ हाथ पैर चल रहा है नहीं तो ऐसा कुछ बोलते हैं ना तो हम लोग हिंदी में भी एक्चुअली तो अनविलिंगनेस अनिच्छा या इच्छा एंड विलिंगनेस ओके सो दस अप्रोप्रिएट इंग्लिश वर्ड इज विलिंगनेस so willing means there is no desire of that means i have to chant now no just chal nahi do so here yamaraj is saying jihva na vakti he is making jihva as a karta or otherwise doer for chanting activity so that's why it is indicating unwillingness of the person that means mechanically something you are doing without any desire without any willing willingness that chanting if anyone do that so oh my dear servants you should not bring you should not bring that person jihvana vakti bhagavat guna nama dheyam mind which remembers mind remembers he remembers is not said through mind he remembers lord he didn't say is it mind remembers that means mind is made as a karta here do her so it is also indicating that somehow or other he remember krishna so we thought his willingness and even you don't bring that person or some head is bowing down head is paying obeisances so siraha siraha so namati in that case also head we are saying head is bowing down not the person is bowing down that, that is also indicating unwillingness of the that person to bow down and somehow or other some temple came or something came and he bowed down like this that is also considered as uh, something that means temple came in front of that entrance and some cheek he got that means some sneezing he did that's all enough he should not be brought he bowed on it he paid obeisance to the lord like the rat also that same thing na he took that wig which is offered in the kartik month that lamp actually from that it taken wig into the mouth and it just so up and down jumping because of that fire which is stuck in its teeth that wig was stuck but still it is accepted as the that means it's bhakti only that that means 
This is abhasa, bhakti abhasa. Even the abhasa of the bhakti, semblance of the bhakti is done by anyone that is going to destroy all the sins. And akruta vishnu krutyan, you should not bring those, those people and whoever is not doing this, whoever is not doing this, then you should bring. Means, even these simple activities they are not doing means, so definitely they are not doing other, definitely they cannot do even big activities. That means other next six limbs of the devotional service. So it, it signifies what actually? So Yamaraj is giving this such a uh, statement to the Yamadutas, they should not touch that person in his life one time he hear that's all he should not go to hell he should not be taken to hell that is the glory of the bhakti uh -uh. Uh, <clears throat> suppose uh, one person you can sit in the chair Prabhu. yeah please yeah uh, suppose somebody did uh, little uh -huh. bhakti unconsciously or unwillingly so no problem. please 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 sit Prabhu. Uh -huh. Yeah. Also, as well as uh. so, uh, Jamadutas, Yamadutas will not take to hell. Yes. Uh, on the other side, he's not also purified, <laughs> and Vishnu Dutas also not coming to take him. So, yeah. what will be the the condition yeah. of Jiva? It will be negative. Yeah, because of the these vasanas. So, yeah, he will be given. See, in that case, what will happen? He did little bhakti. So he will be getting the human form of life or otherwise he is getting the any so uh, suitable life. He is not going to hell. So he will be getting some speech, like in the case of Bharata Maharaj. So what happened? So whatever consciousness is here, he didn't go to hell, but uh, whatever consciousness is there based upon that, he will be getting some species out of 84 lakhs. So he is traveling and he is getting the once again. So... Huh? A lot of bhakti did he, big bhakti did. <laughs> of course, yeah. So, but because anti kaleja mame was that means yam yam vapi smaran bhav and tejitente kaleo. That rule also has to be satisfied. We should give space for that also. No? So, that's why he was remembering that deer. So, that's why he got that. Similarly, whatever consciousness, whatever desires we have, we got accordingly the some form of the species of life. Then after that, we'll be doing the, so back once again, come to the, coming to the human form of life and bhakti is continued. Like in the case of previous life, Pralad Maharaj was, was uh, just, uh, was fighting with, in previous life, was fighting with one prostitute on the day of Narsinga Chaturdhas. And what happened? So because of that fighting, he didn't take anything. And that was considered as as fasting on the nursing the day, auspicious day. So then that, because of that Sukriti, he got the now in this life, Pralada Maras. Even, even in the case of rat also, it took that wig and it, so happened that. Then in the next life, it, that rat became a queen and she practiced, that means intense bhakti and went back. So you'll be seeing these are the examples actually. So whoever is doing this kind of bhakti, they are given opportunity of, so immediately, so maybe one or two like, and also we are seeing in the case of uh, Bharat Maharaj. So he is becoming the deer and after that he is once again, so continued his bhakti. So that is the thing. Chyaktva charanam bhujam harer bhajan napakko da pate tato yadi yatra kvava abhadra vabhud amusha kim. What kind of inauspicious will happen? Definitely they will be coming back to the, so the platform of devotion. They will be continuing. Even Abhasa Bhakti they did, they didn't do any intentional Bhakti. Willingly they didn't do. Even those people are getting the opportunity of this, then what to speak of people who does the, so willingly some Bhakti. They will not go, then what will happen, what, what will happen to their sin? Their sin will be destroyed by the practicing of the Bhakti. And uh, But how they will be corrected? Lord will be giving the punishment according to his will, not the karma. What will be their, uh, their punishment? Uh, punishment will be there. So, based upon the will of the Lord, actually. How much punishment should be given, he will decide himself. Like doctor, what kind of medicine should be given? It's sweet medicine should be given, better medicine should be given. That the doctor himself decides. 
So similarly, Lord Himself takes care. He will definitely that Jivatma definitely continue, continue to do bhakti. That is the power of the bhakti. Now all are safe now. Whoever is now came into the bhakti and did so much japa and so much service, so all are safe now. We are all. So no doubt we are already in a good safe condition. Only thing is, little delay will be there actually. Someone will go in within one life and someone after. After two lives, three lives, four lives, is based upon the seriousness. The intense of the bhakti is is the only the factor. If you develop intense bhakti in this life, immediately we can go. Like in the case of Ajamil, when he developed the intense bhakti by the Nama Bhasa, all the sins he is destroyed. But after, so that's why at the end of his life he is able to chant the uh, Narayana's name somehow or other. Such, such a such a fortune. How it got that situation? How it came up? That means at the time at the time of death, his son is coming in front and he is seeing and his senses also working and he is able to recognize that person is there. That boy is there and let me call this much opportunity, this much good fortune from where it came. Now he is also able to remember. Generally at the time of death, nobody can remember anything. So, but he is able to remember and also utter that name. How it happened? That kind of fortune, how it happened at the time of death, because already his sins are destroyed by the the first time he and he took the holy in Narayana's name at the time of so Namakaran Samskara. Okay, so but that means by Nama Basa his sins are destroyed, but when he developed the bhakti, when then after that Yama Vishnu Dutta said, okay, you have some few more years, twelve more years, so you have time and you. Do the intense bhakti and develop that and go back, come back to us. So that's why it's needed to develop the intense bhakti. If you develop intense bhakti in this life, that's a gadata, it's a tivra bhakti. Like in the case of Narada, also will be seeing when he got Siddha Deha, when he developed the za intense bhakti, when his love for the Lord he became so intense. Then only he got. So anyway, now we are coming to our discussion. So these things are, this Yamaraj is glorifying so so much about the so activities of the bhakti, Vishnu Krutyan. Even this much little activity is done by anyone, they will not, uh, they should not be brought. They should not be brought to this. <clears throat> Atra abhaktanam anayanena bhaktanam, where we are? So, abhaktanam anayanena bhaktanam ananayanam eva vidhiyate. If you see, we took the three slokas actually 27, 28, and 29. 29 is the main discussion, but 27 and 28 we are seeing. In 27, what he is saying? What kind of message he is giving in the 27? So, whom he should not bring? On 28, he is saying, whom he should bring. So 28, he is saying that whoever is having aversion towards the Lord, they should be brought. That is the message given by the 28th sloka. In the 27th sloka, what message is given? So whoever is doing this, that means uh, devotion to the Lord. Parigita pavitra gathanam. So nikatam, nikata gamana, nikata gamana nisheda vartha. Is, is, uh, he is stopping. So finally, by concluding these three slokas, by seeing these three slokas, so and in the in the twenty ninth, we are seeing tan anayadvam. He is saying, you bring those people who are not doing even a little activity for the Vishnu. So those people should be brought. That means he is saying clearly, non devotees should be should should be brought to me. That means it is it is referring to what devotees should not be brought. From this word, devotee means what? Even tongue chants one time. That is also okay. He is also considered as devotee and they will not be taken to hell. Anayanasya utsarga siddhatvat. We are taking, bring the non devotees, indicates or refers to not bringing the devotees because we are taking this actually. In the sloka, it is said, don't bring non devotees, he said. And, sorry, don't bring bring non devotees, he said. 
that is we are taking he they, they should not take the devotees this much meaning we are so automatically taking because this is a rule actually ana yadvam this is a rule yamaraj made actually you should bring non devotees he said that means this kind of utsarga means it is rule actually this rule bring bring non devotees he said clearly so that is indicating so not bringing of should not bring the devotees next vaivasvatam samyamanam prajanam iti shrute and also we are seeing from the shruti so what we are seeing shruti so, amaraj is appointed as a controller of the or the punishment he can is appointed to punish the people citizens so that's why he made the rule from this rule we are understanding so not bringing the devotees okay next now one interesting shloka is coming sakran mana krishna padara vindayor niveshitam tad guna ragi eiriha nateyamam paasha brutascha tad bhatan swapne pi pashyanti hi chirna nishkruta so sakrit manaha one time sakrit means one time manaha krishna padara vindayoh niveshitam if mind enters into the lotus feet of the lord for one time tad guna ragi and tad guna ragi means so which is absorbed absorbed in krishna's Uh, which is attached to the qualities of the lord gunaragi means the mind which is attached to the qualities of the lord that mind one time even for one time it uh, enters into the lotus feet of the lord then what so so whoever is uh, whoever is entering their mind into the lord of spirit of the lord what kind of mind that is which is having the attachment to the qualities of the lord and those people uh, those who they yamam those people will not see even in the yam is they those people will not see yamaraj and also his servants even in the dream because just one time entered into their mind entered into the lotus feet of the lord that's why so they performed all the kinds of atonements all the sins whatever performed in the millions of the lives so for that atonement is done chirna nishkruta what i want to say here i am asking here if you see the translation there is a some kind of undigestible thing is appearing here can anyone find that those by whom the mind which is attached to the qualities of the lord is only once absorbed in lotus feet they don't see emma and his servants who hold the news even in dreams since they have accomplished all atonement by that remembrance anything you are ha ah, ah, ha ah. yes yes come on come on you are in the line some controversial thing is we are seeing here who will tell this wow online on everything don't worry The lights off. That lights off. Huh? Come, carry the lights. Oscar, translation, padia. People, please 
so read out once and i see see the some some undigestible thing is there some controversial thing anyone wants to say ha huh? gaya pura चिल रहे हैं तो चलने देते ठीक है कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं चलाओ ये सही बोलिए 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 जल्दी बोलिए आप स्क्रीन ऑन करिए एक बार हाँ कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं वांट्स टू से एनी वन हाँ यस प्रो हम्म माइक 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 ओके यू टेक दिस हियर इज मेंशन ऑल दो नॉट हैविंग फुली रियलाइज्ड कृष्णा हाँ दैट मेंस इट इज नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट प्योर डिवोटी हियर so not realize krishna means he may be sadaka also and also a person who have even one surrender completely on to his lotus feet that means also not least always surrender sometimes occasionally somehow the recalled surrender means out of just like na no, somebody is falling somebody is out of hunger some out of fear oh, here in this loka translation what is the problem tell me so what is the thing he is looking controversial the translation sakrit mana krishna padarvinde you are seen prabhu my file in that can you say sakrit mana krishna padarvinde yo ho in see in this what is written those by whom the mind by whom the mind which is attached to the qualities of the lord he is only once absorbed in the krishna's lotus feet ah which is attached to the qualities of the lord he is only once absorbed in the krishna's lotus feet how it is it this is looking very different na is giving problem or not swarnakanth uh, prabhu you are feeling something huh? something odd it is looking na what is this actually here you see in the sloka tad guna ragi that means mind is tad guna ragi it is absorbed in the qualities of the lord that's clearly indicating tad guna ragi and also sakrut means one time how if the mind is absorbed in the qualities of the lord then how can you say one time only one time entering into the lotus feet of the lord so so this is this is what kind of bhakti mind is absorbed in the qualities of the lord and only one time he is able to uh, enter, uh, may, may make enter of his mind into the lotus feet of the lord onto the lotus feet of the lord how what kind of bhakti this is this is a very special bhakti actually it is known as jiva goswami explains this भक्ति इज एक्चुअली राघाभासमयी भक्ति व्हाट इज दिस भक्ति कादा चित्की राघाभासमयी भक्ति दिस इज इज रागा भाषा एंड ऑल्सो कादा चित्की रागा भाषा मीन्स व्हाट he he feel oh krishna krishna oh so like that they, they show the, the so uh, attachment towards the lord but actually uh, only for moment it stays that's why it is not it is not really raga what the the person after doing the so uh, so why this then you enter the rati that means raga stage and then doing the raga anubhakti 
they will be having the attachment for the lord all the time but in this case what he is having the raga that means attachment to the lord only for moment actually so this bhakti is known as what kada chitki raga bhasa only for moment raga is staying and it is going this is why it is known as raga bhasa mai bhakti so here for i will explain bhakti is first of all two types we are is another kind of classification it is bhakti can be classified based upon the various factors into many ways like uh, arop siddha sang siddha swarup siddha or uh, we can de define like this or otherwise now here santata kada chitki or otherwise we can consider vaidhi sadhana bhava so uh, sadhana bhakti bhav bhakti prem bhakti or other way you can define that uh, adho shraddha sadhu sangha bhajana kriya anardhana vritti like the stages wise bhakti also can define many ways bhakti can be classified actually so now we are seeing the special classification actually bhakti is two types santata kada chitki santata means which is always constantly remains that that is santata bhakti kada chitki means momentary only for moment it is staying and going so and first santata second one is kada chitki first one is once again two types what is that asakti matra yukta ragamayi cha first one is two types asakti matra yukta second is ragamayi so i am not able to write on the board because we don't have light now here power is not there so i cannot it's not uh, visible actually okay san asakti matra yukta ragamayi so this is two types i am not going in details of this even here it is not given so ragamayi bhakti means you know or asakti matra yukta means uh you which is having only we are person is having only asakti it is in the asakti and it is in the raga so like this you take and next antya main one will coming second kada chitki bhakti is three types actually kada chitki bhakti is three types what is that raga bhasamayi what is that first one is uh second one is tat shunya swarup bhuta tat shunya swarup bhuta tat shunya swarup bhuta means tat means here raga raga rahita raga rahita swarup bhuta and third one is abhasa bhuta these three now i will explain these three so kada chitki bhakti is three types first one is chapan boliye sab log raga bhasmai raga bhasmai that means what only for some moments you will be feeling that you are having this so much attachment for the lord you are showing so much attachment for the lord for only few moments so that is known as kada chit moments that means kada chit ki and raga is not there but still showing the raga sometime for few seconds mind is oh oh sometimes if they come to the temple oh krishna so nice and for moment they will be feeling the so much uh, attachment for the lord's beautiful face but after that going to the out of the this just so they will put on their earphones and start using the, hearing the rock music gaya kaunsi kuch nahi their mind is not absorbed in the qualities of the lord forever only for the for few moments that is what that's just abhasa of the raga bhakti that is you'll be seeing this kind of things actually even in our life also it could happen and next to second type of the kada chitki bhakti is what tat shunya swarup bhuta tat shunya swarup bhuta means uh raga there is no raga bhakti but swarup bhuta bhakti you are doing swarup bhuta bhakti all of you know what is swarup bhuta bhakti hmm swarup bhuta bhakti is shravanam kirtan sakshat bhakti is also known as swarup bhuta bhakti okay so that's uh, without uh, for moments you will be doing the krishna krishna without any raga krishna krishna like that you are doing something holy name only for moments this is so uh, only for moments you are doing and uh, third one is abhasa bhuta abhasa bhuta means in the case of rat 
rat is doing abhasa it doesn't know abhasa bhakti means you should remember all the time without knowing the relation with the lord without having the bhagavad gnanam without knowing the connection with the lord if bhakti is done activity of bhakti is done then that is known as abhasa bhakti example is rat rat doesn't know his supreme personality of godhead and i should offer the lamp and then it is becoming the bhakti ha uh, sarva bhuta he knows chanting but without any attachment for moment he is doing like that to for for fraction of seconds okay and abhasa means he doesn't know actually like example in the case of pradhan maharaj in the previous life he was just uh, he is a uh, vitla vitla means he is uh, roaming around uh, prostitutes and he was fighting with her and he fasted he didn't eat because of angry on her but or uh, it happened on the day of narsing chaturdashi then it is considered as uh, bhakti and abhasa bhakti this is example of abhasa bhakti so kada chit given for moments only it is done na for moments means for few minutes or few so this in the case of rat or something not the whole life is done na this is abhasa bhakti for moments for some to mind kada chit given for little amount of time it is done so kada chit ki bhakti is three types raga bhasamai tat shunya swarupa bhuta abhasa bhuta so now in this shloka what we are seeing in the first this sixth canto first chapter shloka number is this this is shloka number uh, 19 this 19 shloka what we are seeing in the translation the mind which is absorbed in the qualities of the lord is entered into the lotus feet of the lord for once this what kind of bhakti this is raga kada chitki raga bhasamai bhakti uh. So that's why you should know. Why in the previously also we saw signed the 146th uh, Anucheda. Sorry, 106, 106th Anucheda. What we have seen there. Bhakti. You should identify what kind of bhakti is and what kind of this bhakti. By seeing this sloka itself, immediately you should understand what kind of bhakti this is. Okay. Now. some some person is like that and what he did he what 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 is said sukadev goswami is saying this shloka and in that that means if anyone do that kind of bhakti also that means kada chit ki raga bhasamai bhakti he did for moments his mind is absorbed and entered into the lord and so sukadev goswami is saying that even that kind of people even in the dream not in the reality but even in the dream they don't see amaras and his servants that means amaras and his servants they never dare to come in front of this person who did the kada chitki for moment he did only for few moments and he doesn't have any raga but so see that is the glory of bhakti bhakti and in front of his eyes that means if he is seeing that means even dream they don't see means if he is seeing in this way in this direction they they never dare to come in that direction that much power they are having now so it is said it chatra tad gunaragi this this tad means tad gunaragi that means mind which is absorbed in the qualities of the lord which is absorbed in the qualities of the lord this is the visheshana for the mind that visheshana so is indicating what is indicating what so that means his mind is absorbed in the qualities of the lord for moment and that that is offered at the lotus feet of the lord and that means his mind is absorbed in the lord qualities of the lord for moment and that kind of mind got such a power that mind's power is such a way what so that means that means he re, that means what he remember that person remember lord for moments actually 
only for few seconds and that kind of remembrance smaranam is having the power so smaranasya prabhava vishesham so what is that prabhava what is that 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 remembrance of the lord is he is having a special power so what is that special power destroys the ability of the yamaras and his servants to come in the path so is seen by the such people this is the power this is the point that power that remembrance power remembrance is having the power what it is doing it is destroying the ability of the yama and his servants to come in the path which is seen by that person is becoming complex line is okay is understandable na this is a glory this is a glory of the bhakti so now we are discussing this what is the this bhakti how it is great in what kind of position we are now actually we are in the highest fortunate souls and staying in the gordan dam and sitting and remembering krishna many ways bhakti is happening by staying itself is itself a bhakti and in the association of the sadhus and in front of the lord just at the lotus feet of the gordan and discussing the shrimad bhagavatam and remembering the krishna how many things bhakti hi bhakti bhakti hi bhakti come <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah whatever we have disturbance that is insignificant actually you should be feel bliss and happy and so that means mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> okay next uh after that tatha yatha eva nrsimhe narasimhe is clear this this shloka is clear mm-hmm. you should remember actually prabhu actually these are such a wonderful shlokas they are all actually uh, they are glorifying the bhakti sukadev goswami how he is glorifying you see bhakti this is this shloka is said by and previously yamaraj is glorifying so that is the quality the quality of the bhakti we are discussing papagnatvam bhakti how it is destroying the sins and so many things aham amaran अहमरामर्चिते न धात्र यमयि लोकहिता ते निुक्ता हरिगुरु विमुखा प्रशास्मी मर्या हरिचरण प्रता प्रणता नमस्क अहम अमर गणार्चितेन धात्रा यम इति लोकहिते नियुक्तः यमराज हिमसेल्फ इज सेइंग आई एम एंगेज्ड एज यम यम मींस द कंट्रोलर आई एम आई एम अपॉइंटेड एज यम बाय लॉर्ड हु बाय हु बाय द धात्रा धात्रा मींस लॉर्ड सो हु इज वर्शिप्ड बाय ऑल द बाय द देवतास फॉर फनिशिंग व्हाई ही इज अपॉइंटेड for furnishing or rewarding people loka hita hite so furnishing and rewarding i punish those who are averse to the lord and guru and offer respects to those who who those who bow to the lord's feet yamaraj is saying he is going to punish those people who are averse to guru and hari guru hari vimukhan hari guru vimukhan प्रशासमी प्रशास आई फनिश एंड आई पे ओबिसेंसेस टू टू हूम हरिचरण प्रणता हू टुक द शेल्टर हू बोडउन टू द लॉर्ड लॉर्ड्स फीट 
to them yamaraj is saying he is going to pay so obeisances to them namaskara respects so next iti tatha eva amruta sarodhare skanda vachanam so in the skanda skanda's words is the son of the shiva skanda so skanda's words in the amruta sarodhara amruta sara means so so amruta means this samudra mantan bringing out this amruta that in that context so skanda is saying these words na brahma na shivani na shivani indra na ham nanye divaukasa shaktastu nigraham kartum vaishnavanam mahatmanam neither brahma nor shiva nor agni nor indana nor myself nor the devatas are able to punish the great devotees of the Lord. ultimately why we are saying this point we are taking bhakti which is just done that means simple hearing or the chanting this kind of bhakti simple activity by bhakti is performed by the simple activities like hearing chanting or remembering and that is also going to destroy all the sins that is the quality we are we discuss till now that quality that quality we discussed there is no need to do any elaborated process to destroy all the sins that's why why how can you say all, all the sins are destroyed because you are seeing if we, anyone doing this kind of simple devotional activity so they should not be taken to hell so that is indicating okay understood clear main theme is understood skanda is a shanmuga that is shivas huh 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 skanda son of son of the shiva kartikeya yeah shanmuga hmm You said na skanda swords means myself means skanda only. Na you see first line in the in that way, skanda swords in skanda is here. Na this then I means who what you should write myself means skanda only you should write na. Huh? Acha. His name name of the so son of the Lord, Shiva. Next one is the one hundred forty nine. File, acha. File, file. Because I am not able to send file before because every day I do just before. Why I may come five minutes late sometimes like that? Because I am doing this before the class only, and done and running. That's all. Because it's so hectic, actually. Hectic means tedious job. Such a big commitment. Three hundred and eighty days translating and teaching. Okay. See. Okay. Next. what we are going to discuss here some another glory another glory of bhakti we are not discussing any story on this glory na that's why you people are feeling so it's only philosophical you can make a, for every glory one story you can search out from the puranas and bhagavatam and other places ha huh? here 
ஆ யா ட்ரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஓகே மூலா ஆ சம்பூர்ண மூலா இஸ் தேர் லாங் பேக் ஒன்ஸ் அப்பா நே டைம் ஐ வில் சென்ட் ஒன்ஸ் அகைன் மூலா ஆல்சோ டோட்டல் ஃபைல் ஐ கேன் ஷேர் டோட்டல் மூலா ததா சக்ருத் ஆயு சஃலி சஃலம் இத்தியுதாஹருத்தமேவ ஸ்ரீ சௌனக வாக்கியனா ஆயுர்ஹரத்தி வை புசாம் உஜன் அஸ்தம் சௌ வாட் விர் கோயிங் டிஸ்கஸ் பை ஒன் டைம் வர்ஷிப் ஆஃப் தி லாட் ஒன் டைம் வர்ஷிப் தட் மீன்ஸ் யூ மே யூ ஹேர்ட் நேம் ஆர் சாண்டேட் தட் மச் ஸோ பை தட் என்டயர் லைஃப் பிகம்ஸ் ஃபுல்லி successful this is stated by sonaka statement ayuru harati vaipum sam udyan astam cha yannasau tasyarte yakshano nita uttama shloka vartaya so both by raising and by setting the sun decreases the duration of life of everyone yes sun is raising and going setting means one day gone our life our ayu is is decreased but but by this raising and setting of the sun some one's ayu is not decreased who is that except that person's life who spent even for a moment are actually is stepping this even one second it came who spent even for a moment actually didn't delete this actually even a second or even a moment even for a moment even a second anything is enough actually but two times it is given even for a moment in brackets or other even for a second discussing the topics of supreme law okay i will immediately remove it once acha here sahi hai udar somehow even who spent even for a moment discussing topics of the supreme law that you should take okay you can even even a second you remove that <clears throat> okay so from this what for example if you see there is a tree on the tree if we have fruits on one stem one one branch sometimes it happens actually mangoes are coming only in the one branch so but you still you say that falavati vrksha this uh, this tree is is fruitful actually Yes or no? So, uh, similarly, in anyone's life, for a fraction of seconds, if he does bhakti, then his whole life is becoming successful. That is the, that is the point here. What do we want to establish? Anuchyata, what is there? How it is starting? So, by one time worship of the Lord, entire life becomes fully successful. Okay? This is established or not in this sloka? Yes. Yes. Next. Evam bhaktya bhasena api ajamiladau papa gnatvam drushyate. Even destruction of the sin, papa gnatvam means destruction of the sin by bhaktya bhasa is seen in, in ajamil's case. he didn't do any bhakti bhakti doing bhakti means if, if bhakti if bhakti abhasa what is difference if you do the devotional activity with with the proper consciousness with the knowing with the connection with the knowledge of the lord if you do then that is known as so with the sambandha gnana if you do then that is known as bhakti or otherwise it is without any sambandha gnana is done then that is known as abhasa So in the case of Ajamil also same, he chanted the name, that is his son's name. 
So, but we are seeing the destruction of all the sin. In the same way, in the same way, evam tatha sarva karmadi vidhamsa purvaka paramagati praptau api Swalpa aya sena eva bhakti he karanatvam suyate. Huh? Swalpa bhakti. That means, here you see, in the same way, it is heard that bhakti which is practiced with less endeavor is a cause in attaining the supreme goal while destroying all karmas. That means, Little bhakti. That means bhakti is done. Little bhakti means bhakti done with less endeavor. That is the cause in attaining supreme goal. So, while destroying all the karmas. That means all the karmas are destroyed and also it is giving the so, uh, supreme abode of the Lord. Where is the, what is the reference for this? Vartamanam cha yat papam yat bhutam yat bhavishyati tat sarvam nirdahatyasu govindana la kirtanat. Bhagavatam Amrutam is not written. Lagu Bhagavatam only it is said. There it is written. Amrutam is written in my file. Okay. Vartamanam cha yat. That means sin which, which was in the Vartamanam yat papam, Vartamanam cha yat papam, yat bhutam, yat bhavishyati. Sin which was in the past, which is in the present, and which will be in the future. The total is immediately burned up by the fire of chanting Govinda's names. Which was in past and present and future. Sin he has mentioned sin which was in past, which is present, and which will in future. That total immediately burnt up by the fire of chanting Govinda's name, even once, even one name. So how to see? The suffer, uh, even the future, the house is uh, how to reconcile in the suffering of devotees and as well as committing sin. So, uh, just like we see the uh, practicing and apparent sinful action and behavioral sin as well as suffering, but uh, the uh, reaction is already finished. Sinful reaction also finished. Sin finished means his reaction also finished. So, uh, still, a uh, tendency is there as well as suffering is there to, due to which reason? So, for this example, is Ajamil only the example, best example. At the time of Namakarana Samskara, he chanted the uh, Narayana's name. By that chanting, there's Nama Bhasa only, because at that time also he doesn't have any. So, uh, knowledge of the Bhagavan and with that Bhava, he didn't chant any. So, just uh, it's the son's name. They say that those Ritviks said and he kept that for his son. And that time only, what happened? All the sin, whatever he did in the past, whatever he is doing present and what he will be doing future. That means, uh, after that also, he five years he lived. When Narayana took birth, Five years old na, at the time of death of the Ajamil, Narayana's age. Yes, four or five years. Five years. That means after name giving ceremony, maybe another four, four and a half months, four and a half years. So he still lived. In that duration of time, he might have done so much sin once again. So going and uh, mixing with his uh, prostitute wife and so many, so many things. He might have done. So that sin is also is destroyed by the, this name only. That means, sin destroyed means, like, uh, like if you remove the leaks of the snake, then poison from those leaks. 
so it's not going to give any so reaction that means if if bites there is no poison similarly azamil did after name giving ceremony also so much illicit activities so many illicit activities and that so much sin is done that didn't bind him to uh uh to not come to vishnu dutas at the time of death that is a point you are understanding so when he after that he did so many illicit activities and those that sin he he what is the proof this is a proof actually at the time of his death vishnu dutas came because he was able to chant the narayana's name again and why he is able to chant the narayana's name because he doesn't have any any offenses and any sin so that's why he got the opportunity of chanting the narayana's name and that's why so vishnu dutas when he chanted by that hearing that chanting at the time of death he chanting narayana's name that is the rule actually so then vishnu dutas came so from this we should understand that sin in the future is also is destroyed but the point is how that means that sinful activities are still performed by the uh, by the ajamil after the stand chanting at the name him sir when he did then everything should go out then how visuna chakotaku writes there you know same question there also is 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 purupakshi is raising so answer is he was saying there like bhakti maharani gives the space to other process also karma gnana and so on so so that's why immediately it is not showing its it is it is doing in, internally but it is not showing that externally so that means he chanted and on that day onwards he should be becoming so like sadhu that means no desires no so now his pure life he should lead after the name giving ceremony but he didn't see this like in the case of i said previously bhakti maharani if you do bhakti with the senses mind body everything is should be transformed into spiritual body like in the case of dro maharaj but it is not happening everyone so even our great gurus they did the extensive uh, devotional activity there is no doubt in that actually and but we are seeing their material body is left here and but what is the siddhanta everything is get spiritualized but why it is not manifesting because bhakti maharani will not manifest all the her qualities in front of common people so that's why it is she is doing so that so common people should not take it cheaply so if something is coming very close to us so we will be take it very if some valuable thing is on the road then they will they will use if instead of hand they will use foot they will kick that actually so that's why she is hiding herself gopaniyam bhakti is so secret actually and similarly she is hiding her results and uh, yeah so then what is happening so so that oh, okay that means uh, others karma gnana all those also get this space also one more thing they can also get this space so by keeping bhakti maharani herself as small and insignificant so people common people also so outwardly they think oh bhakti is not doing anything okay so karma and gnana also get the some scope yes sir inside it is having doing everything but our, uh, that means externally it is not so that's why what is externally appearing is doing sin a continuing sin we are hmm. suffering we can see in devotee's life also bhakti devi is hiding her glories that yes. 
through this we can understand yes yes, yes. in the case of if you don't have any anarthas provided you don't in ajamil's case what is that uh, specific significant point we should understand yes. he didn't have any anarthas of anarthas and, but sadhaka but like, sin is having but the sadhaka like us that sin is done uh, uh -huh. if suffering is there that we can conclude through due to for us only due to offense only if suffering is there yeah, that means if someone is having the anarthas and also in the sin then by one time holy name is not going to destroy the all the sins so it needs the again and again to first destroy the anarthas and gradually sins also go out it will take till the time of ruchi to go out the, the material so uh, material sin not the anarthas uh, not the offenses anarthas also four types that's in that that's a material sin is one type of anartha only so that will go gradually only in that case okay our case is we are taking diksha and doing the sadhana after accepting the authentic guru and uh, in that that means they are coming in the ado shraddha sadhu sangha bhajan kriya this cycle but in the case of ajamila only one two actually sadhu sangha and final stage that's all only two stages you can see in his life there is no other stages why who has having this so uh, different stages this ados and ados radha sad sangha gajana kriya anardha nivrutti nishta ruchi asakti bhava prema these stages are possible in whose case whose case whoever is having the anardhas whoever is having no anardhas but only sin then in their case only how many stages only two stages association and final stage finish and that's a one time and holy name even he did this so much sin no problem everything is finished that's a ajamil case how many stages two stages our, our in our case how many stages ado shraddha sadhu sangha bhajana kriya anardha nivrutti nishta ruchi asakti bhav nine stages ajamil got the prema prema means that ankuram he got but that is not that is that he reached the final stage but the intense bhakti didn't have actually that's why he was asked to do 12 years to intensify his bhakti ishtudutas recommended my dear boy so friend so you have you 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 are eligible to take to you are you are qualified to go to vaikuntha but problem is you don't have any any prema actually intensified prema you don't have any so you do that's why he went to haridwar and he did there practice okay <clears throat> so if you come to our case even somehow or other relationship next point is this thing we saw you should remember actually every point is very important because uh, bhakti's glories are so nicely uh, here discussed even in the bhakti rasamrit sindhu sadharana bhakti will be seeing the various glories but those are all few but here many are given actually sri jeev goswami gave many it's important it will be, and don't think it is exaggeration oh bhakti is destroying the future sin maybe ho sakta hai it is this maybe he is thoda sa bada chada ke bol so it may be something uh, see, destroying okay i accept but uh, a future how it is thoda sa aur wo bhi all the sins that also how it is uh, if you get this thought then it is what it is only the exaggeration if you think then it is half a sixth offense actually tadarthavada ha Ah, immediately we are committing again and one more prop. That means Bhakti Maharaj, that's a holy name thing. That hey, what you are thinking? You are underestimating my power, and you are what that Sahasra is saying, and you are taking so cheaply. <laughs> and she will become very uh, holy name. That's so. So he will become very angry actually. Mega Varna Prabhu, you should not think it is exaggeration. Okay. Okay, 
remaining things we'll discuss tomorrow any questions sarnakanti you have a question question bank actually bro i am i will i post from the class uh, exam prabhu actually has availability of time i am doing my hard struggle is to make questions hours and hours it goes because once again going and making framing yeah. acha because that is a glory of no glory of what you should know you who is that that is glory of some reference in our assignment is glory of whose glory that is tell me who is writing questions they should send If they didn't write then what should i do then <laughs> uh, that is his problem actually. and he only wrote, and now he is writing if you send reference then okay sarana kanti is writing ha ah, asma ta ji hari krishna madhav ji pranam hari krishna prabhu ji yes uh, just you said uh, the last point that uh, bhakti is also giving space for other processes yes yes so, so uh so we understand that when someone like a devotee is yeah. committing some sins and he's getting the reaction so that is like the karma reaction he is getting no actually when one is surrendered to the lord sharanagati that means adho shraddha shraddha means it is having the symptom of uh, sharanagati if one he has shraddha means he is having sharanagati that is a basic actually starting adho shraddha sadhu sanga bhajan kriya like that you will be seeing na so shraddha means one how can you say one his hands read the is sharanagati so that that means he is surrendered to the, his guru and he is ready to follow that vaishnava's instructions and in their case so whatever the sin is there but offenses are there and also sin is there so they get the various punishments for those sins not by the karma but just by the will of the lord so lord is thinking that now i should give some kind of uh that means lord is taking full charge on them actually and then he gives punishment according to lord is like a doctor sometimes he may give the better medicine sometimes he may give the sweet medicine but he will give medicine medicine only sometimes he may give pleasure and sometimes he may give so pain but intention of that is what lord why is giving just to increase to make that devotee healthy actually like how doctor gives medicine sometimes better or the sweet intention is what making that patient healthy similarly lord also giving the sometimes punishment and sometimes so reward only to make that devotee more and more serious in the devotion so what does it mean that bhakti is giving space for other processes i didn't get that point that in the case of the ajamil actually who are having only two stages oh okay got it yeah thank you who are not having any offenses then immediately bhakti immediately that one time chanting is burning out all the sins and now he is in the so no other stages mr ruchi these are all not needed actually because these stages are there classified like this because of the so based upon the the destruction of the offenses only that is classified if nothing is there then no need of those stages you will see you will see this in anyway in the madhuri kadamani also once again there <laughs> Uh, we are discussing so much about glories of holy name uh, and krishna katha so also uh, in padma purana hmm. uh, that that verse that avishnava mukat girnam kutam hari katha mritam shravanam naiva kartavam sarvachistam yatha payam what is that shloka uh, avishnava mukat girnam puto hari katha katha mritam shravanam naiva kartavam sarpat system yatha pay from where it is chanachada you are studying separately uh, from padma purana okay uh, so what there, is there is mentioning that if 
this holy name is uh, huh. sung by okay translation i am reading one should not hear anything about krishna from a non vaishnava uh, milk touched by the lips of a serpent has poisonous effect similarly talks about krishna given by the by a non non vaishnava are also poisonous so here actually this same holy name is uh, being poisonous by uh, chanting of the uh, non vaishnava mm -hmm. so so here uh, holy name glories of holy name is mm. reducing glories of holy name is yeah uh, not actually glorified yes so condition is given now prabhu what is that condition so one who is not a devotee so from his mouth if we are hearing the so holy name so of course that is a milk only so but it is touched by the leaks of the serpent that milk will become poisonous only so because that kind of thing instead of doing the favor it is going to do the so unfavor because if you hear krishna katha from a materialistic person who doesn't have any devotion so he will sow such a seeds in your heart so which will lead to the offenses towards the lord towards the holy name and that will lead to the so poison it's like a poison actually your understanding those things will become uh, poisonous for you in that sense it is said actually in that sense so uh, non devotee means what so he is training you to use this holy name uh, to lead your life material life jivika or so many things otherwise so then what you are committing the serious offenses towards that in that way it will be a poison for you understanding so uh, till now whatever we heard uh, about uh, hearing holy name yeah so that should be here only from the uh, pure devo uh, devotees here Just we are not without irrespective of conditions actually something some activity is done and some activity is done just uh, just one time hearing or something so that is uh, one time hearing here what it is you doesn't have any uh, any kind of the uh, conditions also if you are trained by the non vaishnava in the devotional practice or in the bhakti bhagavatam then he will teach you the offenses only simply but one time hearing is is, is irrespective of anything it's simply said just one time holy name or one time hearing and that non vaishnava who is like singing in the villages then to... then that will be the uh, problem they, for us they are not getting any benefits of holy name Uh, if non vaishnava is is singing and you are hearing from that so that mood also will enter into you so that's when non vaishnava when he is speaking or or this that mood will be there or not so if you say hey do it do it the mood is there or not in that words of course uh, do it is word only but mood is there or not in that similarly in that mood will also will be there in the non vaishnavas the presentation of that that is reflecting behind that so that will be spoiling the the consciousness the, the today also uh, today only mm. that all will and willingly if somebody huh? and willingly if somebody uh, chant yes still that is effective that that will yeah that is that is true so he is he is not unwilling, un, unwillingly but he is chanting and then Uh, unwillingly is not chanting that's why he is getting the poison na willingly only he is chanting but he is uh, following the offender of the holy name i am so, speaking of the, uh, uh, the singer non devotee singer they will not get any benefit they will not get any benefit they will get offenses they will get uh, any benefit means so offenses are increasing if you he is doing one holy name and he is doing the 10 offenses so then what is going to happen that is that is uh, that holy name is going to destroy little bit 
anartha but ultimately cumulatively offenses big offenses added na so no use your understanding now you are you are like a simple example you are uh, one drop of petrol you are putting on that fire and 10 liters of water you are putting what is going to happen to raise so fire you are doing the little bit to raise bhakti you are doing if you take in that uh, non devotee is chanting maybe that holy name is having the so that significance but it is consumed in what in destroying the offenses what he is doing how offenses are going by the holy name only na no? holy name is that's why again and again you need to chant because to destroy the offenses and at that time you don't get any any bhava from that it is going there but bit taste you will be getting little bit taste because you have the some that's that is also depends upon the the amount of the uh, offenses you are having you have big chunk of offenses and if you take one holy name it is going to destroy the so some little portion of the offenses and it is going to give every fraction of the pleasure to you okay the amount of pleasure derived from the holy name is depending on the the amount of offenses you have and the amount that effect the amount of the sins it is going to destroy is also depends upon the amount of the offenses so that means ultimately in the materialistic person i am coming to your question so if he is chanting that holy name is is he is doing the little effect but he is adding the without any that means with offensive mood he is taking the holy name just for the earning livelihood or something just to become promotion his himself so he is doing that he is offending the holy name that is also that is, negativity is added much and little profit is less and loss is more you are understanding in that sense you should understand clear okay thank you very much so uh, any other questions if not okay thank you very much prabhupad ki